Ibrahim says, I had a friendly discussion with a brother. It was about the dua that our Prophet ﷺ taught Mu'adh ibn Jabal, may Allah be pleased with him, in Sunan al-Nasai and Abu Dawood. We had a dispute in when to recite it before or after Taslim. I said before. I learned that from you. And he said after. Would you please shed the light upon this matter? Ya Shaykhuna al Karim. Well, I would be more than happy to do so. The dua Brother Abu Ibrahim is referring to is narrated by uh, Mu'adh ibn uh, uh, Jabal, may Allah be pleased with him. He said that the Prophet once took my hand and said, Ya Mu'adh, Wallahi inni la uhibbuk. By Allah, I love you. And love in Islam is not like their religion. In Islam, it's a brotherly love between the same gender. And this is part of a religion. The West, in the West, the Westerners, they would not say, listen, man, I love you. They would say, I like so-and-so. When you when he says, oh, I love Sheikh Asim, they would maybe think wrongly of him and say, oh, you're, you're a homo. No, in Islam, love is a beautiful affection and a feeling. So yes, if I see uh, brother so-and-so, brother Dr. Muhammad Salah, I would say to him, by Allah, I love you for the sake of Allah. And this is instructed in our religion. The Prophet told us, والسلام, whenever you love a brother, notify him. Once a man was sitting with the Prophet, والسلام, when another passed, so the, prof, the man said to the Prophet, Oh, Prophet of Allah, by Allah, I love that man. This guy gives in charity. He's kind to his parents. He speaks beautiful words. He teaches the Quran. He's observing his Salat in the first row. He's to be loved. Not for his money, wealth, power. Rather for his good deeds. This is love for the sake of Allah. So the Prophet told him, والسلام, did you tell him? Does he know that you love him for the sake of Allah? The man said, no. So the Prophet said to him, go and tell him. So this is something that is part of our religion. The Prophet held the hand of Mu'adh ibn Jabal and said, Ya Mu'adh, O Mu'adh, by Allah, I love you. Do not leave saying after every salat or at the end of every salat and the word used is dubur kulli salat to say allahumma a'inni ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatik oh allah help me to remember you and to express my gratitude and thank you and to worship you perfectly meaning without innovation, without deviating. Now, there is a rule, and this rule was put by our scholars like Ibn Taymiyyah, Sheikh Ibn Ithaymin, that there are two things related to Salat. There is Dua and there is Dhikr. The dua is done before the salam, and the dhikr is done after the salam. And they give an example of Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar 33 times. When do we say it? After we conclude the salam, the salat. After salam. Okay. When do we say, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min adabi jahannam wa min adabi al qabr? Oh, this is dua. We say it before salam. So likewise, Allahumma a'inni ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatik is a supplication, is a dua. So we make this before the salam. Because the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, after you conclude 
the salutation upon the Prophet والسلام, the Prophet told us choose whatever supplication you want so part of the places of answering your dua part of the places of dua in salat is in sujood and also before concluding your prayer with salam because the prophet said select whatever you want of supplications and that is after salutation of the upon the prophet and before the salam so abu ibrahim i hope this answers your question